Hey everyone, so in today's tutorial I'm going to continue with my um, pixel mapping and in today's tutorial I'll actually show you how to run the pixel mapping across the fixtures like Sunstrips. I know it's been asked like, like a lot of times and it's still surprising that a lot of people still can't do it but uh, today I hope the answers that you're going to receive all the answers uh, for all the questions you actually had. If you have more questions, please don't ask me because um, it it takes a lot of time to actually create. So I can't just quickly jump and and try to answer extra 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 questions. So I'll try to cover as much as I can, and uh, you can see I'm actually scrolling through some of the effects. So um, by end of tutorial, I will actually show you how. To create all of them from scratch so you're not gonna uh, hopefully as I said you're not gonna have any more questions so um, let's start from the beginning and I'll show you how to patch the fixtures how to make them in the visualizer and then how to start running the pixel mapping and any other uh, dimming effects on them cool okay let's start with the new uh, show file. We press setup, new show, yes, normal life. Okay, so we go with a patch, we go with uh, choose head, okay, we look for show tech, so you can type in on your keyboard show tech or in a through search show tech and choose this one, it's called Sunstrip uh, Active MK2. Like, and this is the one that I've used many times, so this is the one I'm actually using to show you. So I've recently used them uh, on a download festival, and um, yeah, so just this is some of the experience I had using them. Okay, so when you're choosing the fixture, you're choosing the different, there are different modes you can play with. So the one that I would choose will be either mode 10, 10 duplicate elements, or mode 10, vertical 10 duplicate elements. So the differences would be, I mean, by default, the 10 uh, DE, 10 duplicate elements, will be actually patched horizontally. Uh, in like, but you can always you can always change them, you can always rotate them if you want to, but in my case, I wanna use the one that says vertical, so it's already prepared one. So I select this one, and okay it's ready I press patch and I patch 10 pieces okay I press yes fine so I patch 10 pieces and let's position them as we want as as similar to the one I've done in my previous tutorial with the RGB parkans so what I'm gonna do is I will select my um, fixtures view grid and here you have a grid so at the moment you can see them all as one element fixture but I'll show you a quick trick so first of all we need to position them from left to right and uh, I already uh, played around so I know the grid size I need I will say set grid size 20 by 10 why 20 because I want to leave a gap between the fixtures so it's going to be nicely done and the 10 uh, vertically it means because we're, we're using 10 fix uh, 10 cells so I press enter so now you see you have those like that. So you remember the multi-head button that I've shown you in the last video. Well, I, I pointed out, but I never showed you how it works. So check this out. You press this button, boom. All your fixtures are fully nicely spread uh, with the multi-head with all the elements down. See, took you seconds. Okay, cool. So what we're doing now is we're gonna spread it, spread the fixtures around. So I'm gonna say drag move, click, and move stuff around. Drag, move stuff around. Again, if you want to run effects like uh, some of them in one way, some of them another way, uh, like sort of uh, in opposite directions, etc., you can always use, you select your fixtures, you can always use rotation tool and you have them vertically like that. Okay, so this is the rotation for. Okay. Cool, okay, we can move them back again. And if you want slightly rotation, we can just change it like that. 
Ah, they all go in one line. Okay, cool. The stud we can try set zero here. So I've set it as 90 degrees. Cool. Okay, so I will move here. So if you didn't notice what I did, so to make the angle slightly quickly changed, I press set, then I press zero, then I clicked on my encoder and it's set as, as zero. Okay, so then I can move this one over here, this one over here, this one over here, and this I'll leave gap of two, like that, and like that. Okay, see, you've nicely uh, positioned all your fixtures, so it's nicely aligned, and let's move them now and uh, reflect that change onto my visualizer. So I can press, uh, I can hold shift button, I press here arrange this, I say put it at the back and leave the gap between them as 0 0.3 slash 0 0.3 like that. Okay, so now in the patch window as usual view this, I'm using the, oh sorry, I should put it back. I had only one fixture selected, but I actually had to select the whole group. So I can press clear, select the group one star star selects the whole group of fixtures. If you didn't know, read the manual. Okay, uh, we move the fixtures down and we can zoom in on the fixtures. Maybe move it up, move them up a little bit. Right, okay, so now we have a nicely laid out 10 fixtures in front of us. So we can start working with them easily. Um, okay, so I'll show you a couple of things you can run with a normal standard dimmer, uh, dimmer effects, and then some of them you can run with a pixel mapper effect. So the standard dimmer effects will be useful for following. Let's say if you select the fixtures, press add effects, intensity because it's an active sun strip so it's got on the dimmer channel so we go here and we press dimmer chase so when you press the dimmer chase and this is the fixture with a sub element it tells you would you like to run as a duplicate element include elements or include elements synced the differences are here so when you run as a duplicate element it takes each fixture uh, each fixture is oh sorry the whole fixture is considered as one fixture. So all tel 10 elements are considered as one fixture. So if I reduce the effects width to the something more sustainable, something like that, you have uh, you have the whole fixture working, uh, all cells of one each fixture working together. So all fixtures, uh, all cells, so each fixture is working as the whole fixture. So you can see now the effect is running per each fixture, per so whole fixture. Uh, we can say remove all effects and press add effects again, intensity, dimmer chase, and we say now include elements. So now when you include elements, it thinks that all fixtures are nicely spread uh, and you can run, uh, if, you, if you change the width of the effect, you can actually see the whole wave. So why? Because the effect is going basically from first cell all the way down, then the first cell here all the way down, and it goes from left fixture to the right fixture. So the effect goes from the top left corner up until it comes finishes on the bottom right corner. So it's so now you can see the effect goes across all the elements uh, of each fixture. So you've got nice effect like that. But if you make it like really small, then you can see something like that. Okay. Okay. Uh, we go remove all effects. Add effect. Intensity. Dimmer chase. Let's do the last one. So include elements synced. So when you run this now, you can see that effect is running now across each cell of each fixture, and it's all synced. So. If you want to make a nice effect of the of the of the uh, dimmer effect going down, you can change the width of the effect like that, and you can have a nice effect of the uh, dimming effect going down. You can of course reverse it and change the direction to go up, and it will go up. Yeah, so uh, you can do random if you want. 
um, uh, or you can you can try to do the centering but what you're gonna see is it's basically the the left side of the uh, of the fixtures are, are going towards the center the right side of fixtures are going to the towards the center to the other direction but you can always rotate them if you really want but uh, but before you're gonna say hey how but I want to run it into the center blah 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 I will actually show you how to do this in a moment okay so don't worry about it. I'm just showing you the the options you have so if you basically want to run a random effects on them you can always press reorder effects and press random and you're gonna have a random effects across all your cells okay fine so I press reorder again and it's all changed so these are the dimming effects you can run on them of course you've got flicker etc etc you can run different effects uh, using just your standard dimming engine but let's press remove all effects press add and now let's try the pixel map effect so if you run pixel map effect you can actually run a vertical line so it's going to go ah sorry pixel map requires group to be select of course so i'll select my group of lights add effects pixel map and i'm going to say line vertical so you're going to see the vertical line goes from left to right okay let's change this one and we're going to call pixel map a horizontal line so it goes from right to left you can of course change the direction make it go up you can of course change the direction because it's a pixel map you have center in bounce and you have bounce so if you make bounce you're going to have a bounce effect nice isn't it you can also do center in bounce so it's going to go out to in in to out etc so again it's a nice effect and you can you can you can use this one record click here so then what else we can do we can say add effects pick some up we can say rotation line so here you go is your rotation line you can change direction again record that remove all effects add effect and we will say pixel mapper and we're gonna go with um, say square square see got nice effect we can record that as well here and of course before uh, before I started I knew that uh, most of you are gonna be if you if you if you don't know how to use this you'll be saying oh how to run an effect that's gonna be actually going into the center nice uh, centering effect here's how you do it you press add effect pixel map and you choose the rainbow vertical in our case because it's a vertical fixture press rainbow vertical so now you see the lights going up now change the direction to be centering and you have a nice into the center effect running so now you can actually press record click here and if you want to do center out uh, or bounce you're actually going to see a nice effect like that yeah I think it's it's that easy to to recreate this press record press save and if you want to run an effect where you have all the fixtures are going down like a like a build down you can actually press add effects pixel map and you can use uh, build vertically so you can do something like that yeah um, you can uh, also change the direction change the backwards okay so um, yes uh, what else you can do here you can change uh, you can try to add another effect uh, you can do actually a ramp horizontal you can do something like that so it's going to run across all the fixtures from top to bottom and so on and so forth so well, let's do something else the last one uh, yeah we can do random uh, random spots yeah we can do random spots something like that and um, and the one that uh, give me a second I'm gonna do uh, yeah run the vertical yeah you can yeah you can actually try to do something like this like horizontal effect you can actually reduce the size and you can run centering effect so you have nice effect into the center of the fixtures record and bounce it's going to be a center out nice isn't it okay I hope that was useful for you ah also 
before I go, I will actually show you that I've created um, our sequence. I'll make it as a Q stack and I can actually make some fade time. And if I run it here, you have your effect and then you press go and it's it's nicely fades from one thing to another. So you can actually use it as a part of your show file. Again, I hope it was useful for you and uh, stay tuned. I will show you also separately how to run on the buttons, on the matrix, fig matrix fixtures, etc. But I think with what I've shown you already, I mean, especially with the sun strips, you can you can basically guess how, how it's going to work with the matrix fixtures as well. Anyway, thanks for joining us today and have a good day. Bye bye.